Hey Cancers, it's Clary Berry here with the 11th through the 14th of November, the horoscope. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get right into it. Yeah, there's like, there's crossroads. We could be hopping timelines here, y'all. Shadow work is going to be your friend, help you let go of some negative ways of thinking that have got us and kept us stuck. If you wanna get unstuck, do the shadow work. Very, very clear. Very, very clear coming through. This Libra moon, you know, we want to help. We want to give. Don't be that overgiving. Okay? Don't be that overgiving. Okay? So, we have we have the sun in conjunct Mars. So, there can be kind of this fear. People are, you know, almost this paranoia, you know. Like, we, and also within ourselves, we just... It's almost like we aren't sure of what we want. We're making this, again, this like choice, this decision. You know, it's like what we thought we wanted versus now what we really know we want. You know, what we were led to believe we wanted or inspired to believe that we wanted. And it's like our desires versus actually really who we are, you know, and getting into those deeper realizations of who we are, what we're doing. Shadow work is your friend. Check out the playlist and program below. Description box. Okay. Now we've got some cardinal T squares this these couple of days, as well as Venus opposite Mercury. Uh, excuse me, Mars. Venus opposite Mars, causing us to be very, very ambitious and passionate and over, over, overbearing, over order, or like just like watch out, <laughs> you know. And it's okay. It's going to pass. We're going to get through this. We have, again, Venus up is at Mars till the 17th. The Cardinal T-square with Venus, Pluto, and Mars till the 16th. Okay? Things are changing. Our drive, our very drive is changing. What we want, you know, what we thought we wanted before, we're getting to a, burn, a whole new level. A whole new level of our identity, again, our purpose, our connection, who we are, all of it with these yods that we have, beautiful, changing, okay? But again, it doesn't all just change. It's like birthing pains or growing pains. It doesn't all just change. You know, we have these squares. Mercury, um, which is in Scorpio, is squaring off with Saturn. So again, there's some restrictions, you know, again, the emotions are taken over the, the mind, the mental is all in the, up in the emotional right now. <laughs> and you know, it can be causing people to come into fear, to be irrational. You see people popping off all over the place. No, you're like, oh, what's wrong with these people telling their whole story on Facebook? You know, all of that stuff. It's like, if people got a vent, they got a vent and go for it. Get that help that you need. Make those connections that you need and don't feel sorry for it. Don't be ashamed and don't be negative and put things like that on other people. Okay. This is all about acceptance and this love and this caring. And the more we can be in that natural expression of our own sign, you know, the, the better here. Okay. Staying connected, staying grounded in the Capricorn stellium. So, so, so important. Okay. But again, this moodiness is going to be hitting us, you know, and again, especially if you have a lot of moon energy, you know, moon conjunct Venus here, moon conjunct Mercury on the 13th as well. It can be a time of bonding, but it's going to be, you know, sensitivity as well. Okay. And again, these sensitivities can be capitalized on because shadow work. Do the shadow work on anything you're annoyed, anything you're perturbed or angry with moody about at all go ahead and take it to that higher level get into this deeper philosophy of life okay with the shadow work and inner child healing you guys will benefit from this so much just being intuitive and it's just great okay it helps you so much again shadow work flips the switch so on the 13th and the 14th okay so the 13th wow again that emotional bonding that's the 13th okay relations and emotions can definitely cloud thinking at this time. Don't make any big major life decisions because you're going to be totally emotional as hell. And I know you've probably already been emotional. So this is great news, right? But no, again, things are going to stabilize a little bit on the 14th. 
the sun is conjunct the moon, so you know you don't have any any real issues. Focus on yourself. A great time for that self love. You are the starting point for every relationship in your life. So make sure and put yourself first so that every relationship in your life can benefit and you can put out a glowing light. And just remember every time you're seeing somebody, you want to raise their energy. And if you can do that, you're going to be raising your own energy as well. There's this, again, this kind of selfish pull. And again, we're trying not to get sucked into the torrent, you know, that takes us into, you know, oh, not giving our own needs to ourselves. Right, but we want so much to help and we want so much to give, and we can find that balance. And we are, we are finding that balance. So, again, stay reflective, keep reviewing, stay on this even keel. Again, do everything preschool to you know, it's the six S for success. Six S's it's like sleep, sati satiation, sugar, having enough uh, carbs in your system, having enough. Uh, saturation for you know staying hydrated sleep sweating stillness you know do some meditation social all of these things are so necessary and you know taking care of yourself in that way loving yourself and acting out that love for yourself is transformational for all of your relationships right now put yourself first put yourself first in a way that it balances you out okay so let go of these old ways. Do not operate out of fear either, okay? And just try, you know, you know it's going to be a moody time. So again, doing the shadow work, being proactive, staying focused on your passion, your cause. When things take me under, you know, I really just am always thinking about, A, this is going to make me stronger so I can give back and help others who are going through the same thing. That's the big picture. That's always the bottom line, silver lining, you know, and just knowing that, yes, like everything's happened for a reason. This is happening right now to teach me something. And even if I haven't figured out what it is yet, knowing that I will soon is such a powerful and positive thought and belief to carry. So again, be careful of your, your beliefs right now and also, again, stay open to learning from your judgments by delving into that shadow work. It's so important to help you get where you want to go right now. And your ambitions are, I really believe here, totally coming through, you know, very pure. And, you know, again, this passion, this wisdom, this philosophy, this, you know, interest that you have, you know, maybe something logical, but also very mystical, either or too. You're just like, You've been thinking, your mind's definitely been on something and that you're also emotional about. And definitely, of course, relationships coming through. But again, a lot of changes coming. Not only with the way you see things, the way that we're acting, the way that it's all intertwined. This is all about the beliefs. Remember that our beliefs really do guide the way. So you change your understanding, you change your beliefs, you work on the inner, the thoughts, then you work on the emotions and you work on the thoughts, then you work on the emotions and you will change because your actions will change as well. Keep it flowing. Keep it going. Holistic law of attraction. Check it out as well as the shadow work. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Love ya. Bye.